what if folks are just like, well, I don't ever want to do a talk, but I, I do want to get even better at sharing my opinions and sharing what really matters to me, but I'm worried about what other people think. That's such a great um, topic to bring up, Nita, because many people are afraid to share their opinions because of criticism. They are afraid to share their opinions because we have not been taught well how to coexist with differences of opinions. Mm -hmm. And when I wrote The Influential Voice saying what you mean for lasting legacy, I have very strong opinions in that book. Mm -hmm. I also make it very clear that we don't have to share those opinions in order for us to like, love, respect one another. And I'll give you an example. When Roe v. Wade was overturned, I called my friend who believes the opposite side is me. Mm. And I said, Alexis, I need for us to have a conversation because I love and respect you. And I know that you love and respect me. And I believe this and you believe that. And I want us to both share our beliefs so that we can end this call knowing that we can coexist in these belief systems. And that is how you have conversations and share your opinion with someone who doesn't agree with you. And I, I would love for us to get better at that as a humanity and as a, as a community, a global community. The thing that's important for your listeners and your viewers is when you become an influential voice, whether it is from across the kitchen table from your family, across the boardroom table from your team, or when you're standing at the Barclays Center in front of 15,000 people, every single word choice that you make has the ability to impact good or evil, love or hate. Mm -hmm. So it's important that you choose wisely and it's important that you recognize you're going to be criticized. People aren't gonna like what you have to say. And if we can show up in full integrity and alignment, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I feel like you've, you've kind of dropped a lot of amazing nuggets and some, some big points, because I really think that it is something that, you know, a lot of us shy away from. And I know that, you know, people have these like elephants in the room and they want to tiptoe around it, or they want to just shove it under a rug because they don't want to, or they avoid confrontation. And, you know, what I'm hearing you sharing is there is a way to be okay with not being able to agree on everything somebody says, but to actually be there and witness and love the other person, even when it's like killing you inside that you both don't agree on, on the thing. But I think that, you know, there is, there's gotta be this way and we have to build that as a muscle of, being okay that we're, we're all going to have differing opinions and that is okay. It's better than okay. It's amazing. Think about how much bigger the world is because we all think something differently. If we all thought the same thing, there would be no innovation. There would be no, you know, inclusion. I mean, that's the thing. Thinking differently is what makes everything so powerful. It's the lack of respect of one another who think differently from you. That's the, that's the challenge and the opportunity that we have to fix and change. See you next time at the Brave Table.